Halloween is coming, Mom. You don't have time for any of this. You're right. I don't. But I will make some time. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, Pardians. Kira, how are you feeling? We tell them the story of what happened yesterday. You don't, do you want to tell them the story? Should I tell them the story? You still look pretty out of it. You look like you don't feel good. Let's tell them. Let's tell them what happened yesterday. It's never a dull day with dogs, I tell you what. So yesterday we didn't vlog. Yesterday was game night. We had a bunch of stuff going on. And I was going to vlog because I was going to vlog the dogs playing and stuff like that. And then I'm like, you know, we just got so much going on. We're getting ready for Halloween. We're just going to not vlog. So anyway, we ended up having game night. Lana came over. We ordered dinner for everybody because I didn't want to cook yesterday. And the dogs went outside at about 5, 5.30. So right after we ate dinner, played and played and played and played and played. And then they ended up coming inside and played a little bit inside. And then pretty much everybody laid down to take a nap. Now, normally game nights when the dogs come back inside, this dog and this dog kind of go crazy. So they came back inside and I got a new game called Everdale Ever something. I don't remember the name of it. And it's a, it's a long game. So it's like a two hour game. So they played for a little bit and then Kira laid down under the table, which I should have paid more attention to because normally she lays down on the couch. Normally she's the one under the table, but she ended up laying down behind me, which was a little weird, but not anything I really thought anything of. So we played the entire game and none of the dogs asked to go back outside. Normally Kira will start it. Normally Kira will ask to go outside. You know, and again, she was sleeping. We kept looking under the table. She was sleeping. So we didn't really think anything of it. We played the game. And then about two hours, two and a half hours went by and we got up and all the dogs got up and they went outside. And again, you can see Kira's got a, a bubble in her shoulder right here. Um, so anyway, we let all the dogs outside. Didn't really notice anything. Kira came back inside and she was doing this. She was literally, her head was doing the wobbles. Her back end was doing the wobble. And I went, oh no, you ate something. What did you eat? Well, you can't talk, so we honestly have no idea. So of course it was after hours, like right after the urgent care closed. So I called the vet, I got the emergency number, and they said, you know, if we don't call back in 30 minutes, try calling again. So I called them and I immediately went into action, got my activated charcoal ready, and I told Jamie, I said, if they don't call me back in 15 minutes, I'm giving her this activated charcoal, and then anything else will take her in, because I'm sure that's what they're gonna do when I get her to the vet. Anyway, so had everything ready, the vet called me back, told them everything was going on, and of course, took her in. And gee, what did they do? They gave her activated charcoal, which is exactly what I was going to do. But then they also did give her a pretty big, I think 500 milliliter fluid injection. She still has a little tiny bit of it in the shoulder here. That's where they usually give it to them. So they hydrated her, they gave her the activated charcoal, which if you don't know, activated charcoal binds to toxins in the body and helps them pass through the body instead of being absorbed more into the bloodstream. As for what she ate, we checked the cameras, we checked everything. She might have gotten an apple from outside, but I don't think one apple, even if it was a bad apple, she doesn't, the dogs don't eat the bad apples, which is, you know, confusing to me. If that would have been what it is, we don't know what it was. We did have some friends over, so we honestly have no idea what it was that she ate, but we did blood work while we were there as well to make sure that her kidney levels and her liver levels were all fine, and they were. So as of this morning, I can tell she don't feel great. Uh, Activated charcoal is very black, and this morning she puked in the hallway, which they said was to be expected that that might happen, but it was it was this color all over my rug. So, cleaned that up this morning. She seems fairly back to normal. Like I said, I can tell she still doesn't feel great, which, so today we're gonna kind of just gonna take it a little bit slow. No idea what she ate. No clue. She's done this to us once before, too, where she had an episode like this, and we have no idea what it was. So, that's the story. She's fine, but oh my gosh. It made for a really, really long late last night. Night last night. Really long late night last night. There we go. That's the words I was looking for. But I guess she's fine. She ate her breakfast this morning. I fed her half the amount that she normally gets because he told me to start feeding her slowly. So we did that. And she seems okay. How you doing? You are a disheveled mess and you need a bath and a brushing. That is what needs to happen at some point in time this week. What do you think? She's like... Halloween is coming, Mom. You don't have time for any of this. You're right. I don't. But I will make some time. This is the new game I got. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll put a link to it down in the video description below. It's called Everdell. So this is what we were playing, and we had just set up and started. We did the first round of the game when the dogs decided they needed to go out and everything kind of went crazy. But this is the game, if you guys are wondering. It's called Everdell. Not that I needed another board game. <laughs> 
but we played it once last night. It's super fun. And then of course I find out that there's a bunch of expansions for it. So that's a thing. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I kind of have a board game obsession. Look, there's the new Disney villains with just Oogie Boogie. Dan got me those. He got us those last year, I think it was. That's a really fun game. Casting Shadows is an amazing game. My Catan is in here, but you guys have also seen we now have the 3D version of Catan. And I mean, I might as well show you the rest of the stuff that's up here. I have Catan Settlers of America. We haven't played that in a really long time. Barking Kittens, Here to Slay. There's so many fun games. This game, can't find it anymore, but it's really fun. Uh, the Great American Mail Race. We haven't played it yet, but since Eric's a mailman, we thought that was a neat game. And then some more games. And then I have more other places as well. But yeah, we have just a just a handful of board games. Oh my goodness! Where is he growing? I don't know. He's alive! <laughs> oh, thank God he's not gonna... <laughs> I wasn't ready. You're like, ah! Yeah, I think he can be right up here. Yeah. Oh my, this tree got huge. Um, yeah, the tree, uh... You might have to come back over here. We'll have to figure it out. We're, see. we're setting up the dragon. Oh, his light still works from last year. Remember, you fixed it last year. Right. Cool. Yeah, I should let him blow up there. All right. Yeah, might as well let him grow. <laughs> Kira's like, what the heck is that in my yard? It's a dragon. It's a real dragon though, you're not just seeing things like last night. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's kinda large. Hi dragon, welcome back. I think if you turn him more towards me, yeah, that should be good. Yeah, he can go back there. He's got enough, he's got enough room. Don't knock him over. Don't knock him over. The wind might knock him over too. I know we gotta stake him down. More Halloween stuff. There go the wings. <laughs> you got it? Uh, the dragon's back. Yeah, he does. Is he okay under the tree? Yeah, no, I think he looks cool under there. Yeah. I didn't keep him right under there. Perfect. We're getting the last few Halloween decorations out. Maybe got the, the dogs and the skeleton dude. We got a few other things we're gonna put out. But the dragon was the big one we wanted to make sure to get out today. Hi, buddy. It's nice to meet you. How, how are you doing today? <laughs> we, yeah? We're gonna rumble? So, it is the next day. And in case any of you are wondering how Miss Kira is, she's fine. She's perfectly fine. She's been playing with Eleanor most of this morning. They were outside playing. They just came back inside to play. They've been watching Squirrel Friend. What do you think, Memphis? Memphis is like, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing, Mom. I gotta go let my brother's dog out. That's what I'm doing. That's why I have shoes on. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. I have to go somewhere. But we are gonna go ahead and call it a night and end this video right here. He's not out there. He ate all the peanuts. He was out there and now he's gone. <laughs> so yes, to update, Kira is doing, she's back to normal. She's back to her normal attitude filled self and spunky oh really we're gonna play with memphis we're gonna play with memphis she's like memphis you can play with me maybe we play with me <laughs> yeah she's back to her normal self lots of attitude wants to play yeah that's what i thought so all right you guys we hope you enjoyed today's video as always thanks so much for watching thanks for subscribing stay positive dream big and we will see you again soon say good night party it's gotta get ready for halloween Boop!